This is Gospel Music Today. We're at the National Quartet Convention in Louisville, Kentucky, talking to someone who's become an old friend of ours over the years. This is Gary Casto of Tribute Quartet. Gary, welcome to Gospel Music Today. Oh, Ken, it's great to be back with you, and I hope things are going well, and it's always good to see you. Well, thank you, and this is, this is great to be able to come down here to Louisville and talk to, to Gary Casto. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about uh, Tribute Quartet. Well, Tribute Quartet is excited. I can tell you that right now. Things are going well, keeping real busy. Got a full schedule, got a brand new project out, and uh, just found out that in 2008 we'll be going to approximately six different other countries. And uh, so we're excited about that, branching out some more and, uh, and so forth. That is great. Tell me about um, the new CD. It's called Anticipation, and it was uh, produced by Mr. Glenn Bates and uh, Mr. Arthur Rice of the Kingdom Heirs. And boy, we're excited. Um, it, it just talks, the, the whole album is structured about the anticipation of, of heaven and uh, of seeing our Savior and seeing our loved ones, and that's what the album's about. Where do the songs come from when you decide it's time to, to do a new project? Well, our record company, which is BSA World Records, they, uh, they always present us songs to look at. And uh, I review personally over 500 songs a year to come up with that 10 or 12, whatever we decide to do. And uh, this year I think we did the 12 songs on it. And uh, so it's a lot of hard uh, time spent just uh, going through song to song to song, finding the songs that, that work for us. Now we met you a few years ago when uh, the Wilburns came up to sing for us. What's your? How did you get started in gospel music? Wow, I remember at an early age uh, I had a little brother who was spina bifida. Matthew, he he passed away when he was six years old, and during that time uh, there was a church that put on a gospel sing to help my family out financially because the, the the medical bills was unbelievable. And it was Squire Parsons when he was with the Calvarymen, Conrad Cook and uh, Jim Humphreys. And uh, so there was that old quartet was out there. And I fell in love with it right there. But I, I was, went on to be involved in sports and was going to school for sports medicine, physical therapy. And some of my mom and dad's good friends had a local gospel group. And we were all sitting around their house one night, and they said, you need to sing a song. They heard me humming over the corner. And uh, so I said, I cannot sing. And they said, yep, we want to teach you to sing. So they taught me my very first song to sing out was Beulah Land. And that's how it all started. So Squire Parsons was a big influence. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Big influence. When uh, Now, we, we know the Tribute Quartet, uh, the, the singing is great, the presentation is great. We, we, when you were up in Rhode Island, and we had so many positive comments. We, we enjoy the singing, we enjoy the show. What is it that you want people to remember when Tribute Quartet gets back on that bus and, and leaves town? This is such a timely question, uh, because when we were with you last in Rhode Island, I had a gentleman to come up to me afterwards, and he stood uh, at the record table for some quite time, you know, some a long time, waiting for the people to go away. And uh, he come up to me, and he said, can I have a moment of your time? And I said, yes, sir, you can. And he says, I've been against gospel music. I've been against preachers, church. I did not want nothing to do with it. He said, because I didn't think anybody was real. And he said, uh, my wife was adamant this morning when she got up that I had to come to this gospel singing. And he says, I'm going to tell you, I kicked and screamed all the way here. And he said, but now I can tell you, after watching your ministry, I know what Christianity is all about. And that's what I want people to remember. That, what a moment. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's great. Well, Gary, thank you very much for talking to us on Gospel thank Music you. Today. Thank you, and thank you for your support at Gospel Music Today. Uh, we love y'all. Y'all like family. We appreciate you. Now back to more great Southern Gospel music on Gospel Music Today. Mm -hmm.